This video is to go through 13.4 work together. Um, they have two directions for us on this step. It says using the payroll data as of March 31st, we're gonna prepare a journal entry for payment of the withheld taxes. Tesla Electric is a monthly scheduled depositor. Journalize check number 495 on cash payments journal, page 14, using the date the taxes are due to the federal government. Number two says that we're gonna use the tax account credit balances to prepare journal entries for payment of the FUDA and SUDA tax liabilities. We're going to assume both checks were prepared on the date for the federal tax deposit, checks number 522 and 523. So they're just telling us our first transaction, our number one here, is going to be for the payment of our withheld taxes. When we look up over here, here are our withheld taxes. So federal income tax, employee, Social Security, and employee Medicare. Um, they do tell us that it is um, Tesla Electric is a monthly scheduled depositor. We will need to know that to figure out the date because if you notice, they do not tell us the date that we are actually making this payment. They just tell us, use the date that the taxes are due. Okay, so if you remember back from the lecture, the date of those taxes that when they're due, when we are a monthly scheduled depositor, is the next month on the 15th. So if we look at this data is from March 31st, the next month then would be April. And remember I said the 15th. So April 15th would be the due date of those taxes. And so that is when we are paying them. So April 15th. Okay, so I am going to put in um, my federal income tax first. Remember, the account for federal income tax is not actually called federal income tax. So if you need a reminder on that, um, nope, if we need to go to the chart of accounts. Um, so we would look at those payable accounts. And remember, here it is right here, that employee income tax payable. That's the account name for our federal income tax. I'm gonna go back to that data. And it says that we're using check number 495 for this. Now we are going to be paying those payable accounts. We're gonna be paying them off. So they would have a credit balance right now. To pay them off, then we need to debit those accounts. So I'm gonna debit my employee income tax for 1320. The other way that I can think of it, if I'm not sure if I debit or if I credit, I'm paying those taxes so I know that I'm gonna credit cash. If I'm crediting cash, that tells me that I have to debit those other accounts. Okay, next one is gonna be my social security. So social security tax payable. Remember, I only write the date and I only write that check number once. Now here, they're being a little tricky. Notice the heading for this is employee social security tax withheld. Remember the employee and the employer pay social security. So that means that we have to double that amount to figure out how much we actually paid for social security. So I'm gonna take 1,331.76 and I'm gonna double that. So I get $2,663.52. Next one is gonna be my Medicare tax payable. And I see that same thing. They are labeling it as the employee Medicare. Employee and employer pay Medicare. So I have to double this number. So I get 622.92. They don't tell me how much cash I'm actually paying. I need to add those three numbers together to get my cash credit. So I'm gonna add all of those taxes that I withheld together. And that's going to give me 4,606.44. That's gonna be what I wrote my check out for. Okay, part two then, it says that I'm using that tax account to pay um, our credit balances to prepare my journal entries for FUDA and SUDA. So I'm paying FUDA and SUDA now. I'm gonna actually go to this next tab 
and here they're showing me my FUDA amount and my SUDA amount. I don't have to do any calculations. It's pretty straightforward here. The only thing that I will need to figure out is, again, they say the due date and they don't actually tell us the due date. Um, so they are giving us our credit balances as of March 31st. FUDA and SUDA are going to be paid at the end of the month of the next month. So the month after March is April and the end of the month would be the 30th. April only has 30 days. So the 30th is when I'm going to pay my FUDA and my SUDA. So I'm going to do my FUDA first. I'm using check number 522 and I'm going to debit that for 515.52. Again, if I wasn't sure if I'm debiting or crediting, I'm paying that tax. And so when I pay that, I have to credit cash. If I'm crediting cash, that tells me that I have to debit FUDA. I do need to make a separate transaction then for SUDA. So again, I put in the date to show a new transaction. And here I'm going to put in my unemployment tax payable state. I'm using check number 523 for this one, and that's going to be 1,159.92 and credit cash for that same amount. Okay, so now I have paid my taxes. I'm going to check answer, save and continue. Okay, you can now go into that 13.4 on your own.